Sports with Josh Moser. For the past 19 years, the winner of the Masters has come from the final pairing, meaning the eventual champion was either in first or second place heading into Sunday. Let's see if history would repeat itself today at Augusta. We start with Tiger Woods. He's never won a major when trailing after three rounds, but what a push he would make today. Here he is on his second shot on the par 5 eighth. He would eventually eagle the hole and make the turn with an incredible score of 31 on the front nine, coming to within two of the leader. And the leader was Rory McIlroy at the start of the day, but the pressure proved to be too much for the young 21-year-old in the final round. Here he is on 13 with the drive that would find its way into the gully. The young Irishman never found his rhythm, and he would finish the day with a score of 80, dropping him out of contention. However, Sunday magical for the young South African, Charles Schwartzel. Here he is on the third following two birdies to start the day. And how about an eagle? This one finding the bottom of the cup from 108 yards away to move him to 11 under. And the good fortune would continue on the back nine for Schwartzel. He would birdie the final four holes, the first winner to do that in 75 years. And he takes home the green jacket with an incredible round of 66 to finish at 14 under. And so here are the final results for the 2011 Masters at Augusta. Tiger's great push on the front nine, not enough. He finishes tied for fourth at 10 under par. Meantime, last year's winner Phil Mickelson would tie for 27th place at one under. And again, your winner Charles Schwartzel earning the green jacket in almost $1.5 million in prize money. From the word go on the first hole, things started going for me. and. Um, you know, it's always nice when things start in the right direction. Now to the diamond. The Rockies looking to close out their stay at PNC Park this weekend with a victory. Ty Wigginton, the hero last night with a three-run RBI double in the eighth to give the Rocks the win. And the bat stayed hot this afternoon for Colorado. Jose Lopez with a three-run bomb to left. Rocks jump out early four to nothing. But in the bottom of the third, Lyle Overbay lines one to left off Yolise Chassin, possibly my favorite name to say in baseball. Two runs would come around to score for the Pirates, and we're all tied at four. So we go to the top of the seventh. Base is loaded for Seth Smith, and he draws the walk. Jonathan Herrera comes around to score. Rocks win six to five and take three of four from the Pirates. The Maverick baseball team also taking to the diamond. They fall today 7-3 to UN Kearney, but still hold the top spot in the western half of the RMAC Conference. Manager Chris Hanks now stuck at 500 career wins. Mesa will host Colorado Christian University next weekend at Saplesio Field. Staying with Mesa State, the lacrosse team hosting the Lions of Lindenwood University today. The Mavs led 3-2 at the break and in the third watch the control by Trace Wolner. Juke, juke and good. Mavs on top 4-3. to three. Then more from Mesa. This time it's Andrew Kurt taking this one away in the Lions zone. That makes it a 6-4 to four contest and then a little celebrating. The swoop and the call out but Kurt would back it up. Here he is again beating the goalie. Mavs go on to win 7-3 to three to stay undefeated at home. It feels great actually like starting out 0-6 and then coming home and winning every game and we expect to win every one for the rest of the season. 1,154 games, two Stanley Cups, and a hockey legacy in Colorado that will live throughout the years. Avalanche captain Adam Foote playing in his final NHL game today. 19 seasons for Foote, all one big blur this afternoon. The fans showing their support for their beloved captain. And at 39 years old, Foote showed much of his old enforcer form today. Here he is with the old school stick swipe, a great way to go out for the future Hall of Famer. The Avs took the Oilers into overtime and they get the win four to three so great way to send out the captain and that is your look at sports for this evening that's going to do it we'll be right back